special pronunciation of your name? George. Yeah, and Castaldi. Castaldi and Benavides. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Server. Wow, crowded room. <laughs> so, we can start. Hello, everybody. <coughs> Let me introduce the next spe two speakers. One is Rafael Benavides, and second is George Gastaldi. They will be tol talking more about Java and Spread Edition 7 with J. Jibos Forge. Yeah. Uh, encourage you to ask questions. You can get some awesome prizes. Guys also have one special one, I believe, but yeah. they will tell you. Uh, also, please give us feedback about the conference on Twitter. Uh, write a blog article and stuff. <coughs> I would like to also remind you on Sunday there will be, there'll, there'll be contest for awesome prizes like uh, YubiKeys, some raspberry pies, I believe, and stuff. And that's it. All right. Thank, Thank you, you very much. So, uh, uh, who works with Java E in here? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys know JBoss Forge? No, nothing at all. Oh, we have one. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I'm uh, the JBoss Forge project lead. Uh, this is Rafael Benevides. He's helping me with uh, the lab. And uh, I have prepared for you uh, a special script, a special um, document explaining what JBoss Forge is and uh, how, what should you do to run it and create Java e applications. So I have provided the instructions over here in the, this is the HTML version, this is the PDF version if you want to download to your machine and read it. So, um, if you install JBoss Developer Studio, you will be able to follow these instructions in a very uh, smooth way. Oops, let me open the browser. Did anyone attend uh, the, the talk about Wildfly Swarm uh, yesterday? Okay. Um, in the end of the talk, we had uh, a special request saying that uh, if the, anyone could um, change the project that we created to support Keycloak, we would uh, give an award. Did anyone do that? No? So we have to find a new challenge. All right. <laughs> we need a new challenge. We have a Raspberry Pi to present for. Uh, we need to decide. Maybe the first one who ends this. <laughs> <laughs> these instructions would be the winner. Um, basically, what we want to achieve in this lab is. Let me open it. If you access the HTML version, this, is, this will be the... Oh. Do I have internet? I don't think so. Uh, use the network cable, because that should... Uh, hang on. Yeah, the Wi-Fi is useless. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where is that network cable? Mm -hmm. It should be in the bottom of the page. Oh. Yeah, there's. Yeah, it's here, maybe. Yeah, it's good. Why? No, good? no, no worries. Okay, it's but already. It so, this is the hands on lab that uh, it was uh, initially used in the. I think it was in Java one or. Uh, or DevOps, I'm not sure exactly. But. Uh, here. Even in Juano, okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so we have some contributors. 
Uh, I just had my name as the, the last one as I updated to the latest Forge features. And uh, you, you will find in this, in this document everything you need to get started with Forge. Uh, Forge itself, it's a, like we, we like to say, it's a red tool. Use it to develop applications. And uh, it has a, a tight integration with the IDEs, with the major IDEs, like Eclipse, IntelliJ, IDE, NetBeans, and even provides a, a command line interface for those who prefer to uh, work on, on the CLI without uh, any IDE. So what you can find in, the, in this document is um, some steps on how to create a project. We have uh, support for NetBeans and also web that we're not showing in this lab, but uh, anyway, Forge supports it. Uh, what ID do you use mostly? Do you use Eclipse or what do you use? Yeah, I most of my uh, use uh, Eclipse and the NetBeans. NetBeans, okay. Okay, if you want, uh, instead of installing Developer Studio, you could uh, you can download the JBoss Forge plugin for NetBeans that is available on the NetBeans website. And uh, you can follow the same instructions for the graphical uh, part. Typically, when we, when we create a, a project with the JBoss Forge, uh, this will be the, the graphical display when using NetBeans. And uh, well, if you follow the, the pictures, I think it would be much easier. That's your version of JPL. Oh, yeah. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Uh, I have provided with uh, Rafael the latest JBDS version. Uh, it's 910 beta 2, which bundles the latest Forge version, which is the recommended version for this lab. And uh, yeah, let me try to. It's, on, it's available on the, on it's, the network. Yeah, it's almost available because I'm still having issues with the network. Yeah, me... I mean, uh, for the, uh, the Wi-Fi, it helps if you keep the uh, path open because it's some weird, uh, you know, uh, router login and at least this will work for me. Thank you. Okay, so let me see here. Do, do we have... Uh... Fabiano gave some USB sticks. Yeah, of course. <coughs> no, these are two distributions containing Okay. Um, we, have the, we might have the, the developer content. studio here. Oh. Shall I distribute them? Let me just check if it's really here. Oh. Okay. Just pull it? Uh, open. Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. Some of them aren't working, so. Oh. <laughs> Good to know. That helps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like we try to eliminate them. You can have to do a new one. Okay. Uh, there it is. Oh, this is the 900. Okay. okay. So. Yeah, and this is no, it's not updated. Oh, dear God. Yeah, this is a node version. This is not the correct version. Probably will be faster than. Yeah. No work. Jibos, forge. Let's see 
if I can download here. It's faster. Yeah, so this, this lab is suited for the three, uh, Forge 3, which is on beta 4. Um, it has some uh, differences between the Forge 2. The main difference is that uh, it's compiled against JDK 8 and uh, it has support for stacks, which, uh, well, it's uh, described in, in the document here as a, another field for the project new. And also, there is a one, it's a place where it's explained better. Oh, here, stack command option. We install the Java 7 dependencies. So, okay. If anyone wants the JBoss Developer Studio, the latest version I have here. Is the Forge there as well? Yes, Forge bundle is part of this JBoss Developer Studio. You want to, to copy other, uh, other sticks and I can help them? Huh? Yeah, I think it's easier. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm, I still need b I still building the image. Mm -hmm. I had to create had to create because okay. the volume was full. There's a workshops. Is this ready? Yeah. Okay. Just, just let me place to build. There's another USB stick if you need it. If you have any question during the, the lab, please raise your hand. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Too late now. <laughs> no problem, I can copy anyone. Sebastian, is there another one with the CPUs that seems to not be working? Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. And is there another CPU? The USB? I can get I'm, I'm creating another one. Okay, I can see if I'm able to.
Does anyone else need a stick? Yeah, I, 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 I know. I'm an old James Tool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't want to download it. <laughs> Is anyone here using IntelliJ right now? Using IntelliJ right now? Yeah. Okay. Do you have the JBoss Forge plugin installed? Uh, I, in the previous version, uh, I had, but I'm now downloading the new version of IntelliJ IDEA. Okay. Shiny. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Once it's red. Do you need help? No, I'm just waiting for the Finally, I was able to make it work. If you want to download from, I just created an HTTP server in my machine. For those that uh, is still copying the files and want to get it from the local network instead of downloading from the internet, you can go to this IP address. Is it clear from, from you that you are behind? And there is the JBoss Developer Studio 9.1 here, the JDK and Maven, whatever you need to be able to execute everything instead of downloaded from the internet. Yeah. Oh, but it means I have a, 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 a procedure. Yeah. And I still have uh -huh. the, the edit. Mm -hmm. 
the top of the screen. Okay, uh, mm -hmm. so this, in, in NetBeans, for you we enabled this search box. So just type project, project people, yeah, project two. It would just take a while, because it's so loading, it's loading. Yeah, accurately text that. Yeah, okay, so it's, it's, it's working just like a regular. It's part of the is that uh, the pure CLI is a bundle in only in Eclipse, but in the other IDs you get the graphical uh, stuff. Um, so you can work, uh, if you want to use CLI, you can download Torch from the website. It'll be a separate thing. We have the project view over there. CLI, it's uh, much faster than the, the graphical wizards, but uh, anyway, it's a matter of taste, I guess. Can about if you have any doubts, just raise your hand and I'll be glad to help you. Yeah. 
Maybe it's a Wi-Fi issue. Yeah, Wi-Fi is not helping. If you want to download from the website, you can have that small email. <laughs> <laughs> to do in my machine because I'm connected in you know. Forge 3, 0, 0, beta 4. Forge 3, 0, 0, beta 4. If you want to download Forge, you can also uh, use this URL, which is Forge 3 Beta 4. This will mean? download the zip file containing Forge if you want to use the command line version. You don't like Eclipse or make, make, make it.
storage that uh, allows you to execute the scripts. USB sticks are pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry about the sticks, USB sticks, they're not helping. They're supposed to help, but they're not. <laughs> then, other one. Thank you.
Two thirty to forty, yeah.
to George because yeah. well, it's a nice nice one
like uh, which clothes or ripples that are based on ID, for example, is it possible to change those as oh. it depends sometimes on the database provider whether it has uh, ID already attached to the entity or it doesn't? Mm, yeah, the, the specific equals and hash code is coded directly in Forge as a Forge plugin. Mm -hmm. the, the, the whole logic is, is on the it's on a Forge plugin, but uh, you can create a command in Forge that does whatever you need. Like a, you could do your custom create equals hash code command. Okay, and is it possible to make an adapter for uh, some existing command in Jabo Forge? Uh, you, you know, there, there is new entity command, and I know new entity with the right hash code and equals. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's possible. There is a, it's still an undocumented feature, but uh, it's there. Uh, you can add uh, steps to any wizard that uh, Forge already provides. Actually, I'm sorry, it is documented. Let me just uh, show you. Go to the Forge documentation. <clears throat> Sorry, add-ons. better <laughs> okay so uh, here in the UI let me check here yeah over here right so oh damn it sorry so uh, when you create a command well, th these are the steps to create a command, but uh, in the same uh, document, there are some, uh, some features that uh, the UI add-on provides. One of them, and one of, one of the most uh, interesting thing is this, is this feature, is the Navigation Results Transformer feature. Well, Actually, in, when you are creating an add-on in Forge, all you need to do is to implement a certain interface, and then you can handle if the current command is a, for example, if it's the JK setup wizard, you can add your specific flow, your specific uh, step into the end of the na that navigation. So when you, what happens? If you install this plugin, if you install this add-on, uh, what is the finding in, the, in this step, in this wizard step, will appear in the last step of the JPA setup. So that's how you can uh, increment, customize. customize the existing fun functionality in Forge without creating new commands. Uh -huh. But if I want to remove previous step of the uh, standard because you said that it's adding. And yeah, we have, we have the current flow here. You can actually return the navigation results with whatever you want. Ah, okay. So I can totally override. Yeah, the I, I'm preserving the current flow over here and adding a custom step. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. But you can just return your current step and. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's nice. By the way, he, 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 his 
suggest a, a nice feature, which is uh, record the comments to generate the, the Ford shell, the Ford script. Oh, so yeah, yeah, we have a Jira for that. Oh, the Jira is already there. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. No, no, okay. Yeah, I remember. Actually, this is a. This is a. This is very. This is a very old feature. I haven't had time yet to work on it. We we have we have to clone you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> something like that. We will start say start recording and do some files. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, yeah. We have we have this Jira. I'm sure. I'm sure of that. Forge uh, history. I think it's logged at history. Not this. Command history. Oh, here. Forge 238. Oh, it's very it's closed. In 2011? <laughs> oh, yeah. I put that it's already done ash. I think I should probably reopen it. Well, actually, we do have a log file in the project. If you go to the your your uh, dot forge slash ash slash history. There you can find all the history that you it's, typed. It's, it's, a, it's a free step. On the home folder? Yeah, on the home folder, yeah. Oh. Did it work, Catherine? Uh, I, it's working out. Still downloading? <laughs> <laughs> on your machine because now it's your machine that's plugged. So let me get it. So JDK. Uh, you need a GDK? Yeah. I've got one. The RPM. What was RPM? For open JDK? Mm, no, that's just the uh, traditional. Okay. <coughs> I, have a, I have like a GDK 860 uh, for Linux, 64 bits RPM. Which one? There it is. It doesn't say it on the Oh, I just have it here. Yeah? Uh, just need another sticker. You stick? Not sticker. Oh, there is some. There are some.
Good. Everything works. <laughs> Waiting for me. Uh, yeah. Have an evening. <laughs> on a pub towel, in another, another jar. Stuck on the <laughs> free fill for sale. Up to Ferry.
and then watching videos on YouTube. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Our mood test first. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Let me just uh, see how it goes here. So. Java E7. <coughs> so yeah, finish. And uh, let me the security. Yeah. You're talking about this, right? Yeah, yeah. Because I just tried it and yeah, it's not adding. Good. What was straight? your issue uh, yesterday? It was not closed or? For me it was worse, it didn't add the security constraint. Yeah, I think there's the a bug in the security constraint, but the add role, it should, it should work, the add role. Uh, the add role, yeah, add role, but it's the only one that works, I think. And the, oh. and the, the oh, login, and the login yeah. methods. Uh, login. In which add role? It's on Java E. On uh, Java E, of course. Yeah. So, master. If, if, you, if it detects key you should open a new text file where you can fix the JSON content. Oh, that would be cool. And so it creates already the key the JSON file. Yeah. Wow. Well, I don't know if, if it must be a separate add-on. We can, we can provide an extension point in, the, in this command so other add-ons could implement this extension point and or maybe use the that uh, navigation resource transformer feature oh, yeah, yeah. to provide an additional step for yourself. Because that will be really smooth. Yeah. Wow, and that will be awesome. <laughs> There's your homework. <laughs> <laughs> Use also a mm -hmm. just choose uh, for, for 
for such uh, tutorials and easy setup and uh, really fast project I use NetBeans and they are faster for that, I think. So I use it for this one. No? Okay. That's uh, I Let's try with this. Let's try with this table. Sorry? Does the scaffold for the uh, UI download something from the internet? I don't know. That's no, the app in your account. Yeah, probably when it updates the form, that's right. It yeah. will try to. Yeah, okay. Thank you. So just I, I, I have the files and everything, so I can continue at you know, anytime. Okay. Anytime cool. I if you need the cable again, uh, <laughs> we can work it out. <laughs> Can you take me a second? Yeah. Well, I'm not. Gonna have a seat. <laughs> sure. I gotta go grab mine. I don't think you. I'm not sure if you can take the chair. Any reason to freeze the command line? Yeah. It's because it's not downloading for uh, necessary jars. 
because uh, after every command is issued, Forge attempts to view the project. So it will display any warnings or any completion errors, any any errors that might be found in the in the project are displayed after every command is issued. So probably at this point, uh, Forge is trying to build your project. But uh, since the Wi-Fi is not working that well, uh, it might take a while for that. So you can have more space, <laughs> more right. focus. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, we haven't we haven't tested yet to be honest. Mm -hmm. So this will be the same. But uh, <laughs> what about the application setup in Fortnite? Uh, you you mean the add-on, the AS setup? Yeah. Oh no, the since it was. This was created by the community and uh, the only created for the Wi-Fi and the GBOS meeting. Mm -hmm. We don't have the Tommy. Unless it's possible to have one for Tommy if uh, you extend the, the common base classes that uh, the, the add-on provides. You could create an add-on for Tommy and then make available for the community. That's a homework. <laughs> <laughs> Probably I can do that, but, uh, you know. That's a Raspberry game. Yeah, <laughs> it's worth it. Aspect. Is there some option that you can use? Because Sorry. it doesn't look like it will, can I say that I'm offline and it should not try this container? Oh, uh, you can, uh, if you set in, in your settings XML in Maven, you just put the offline tag. Yeah, that's that should work. I think. In Maven settings. Maven, yeah, in, the, in your settings XML. Uh -huh. yeah, but you can say is some parameter to the to the forge itself. Can we already be just nothing to the way? Yeah, because I remember having it in one point oh, so probably two point zero. I'll answer in a minute. All that. No, there is a no. That was a forge one thing, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. How's that for you, though? I don't think it's doing anything. <laughs> I'm still in that but, same jar uh, that but I've been on for like thirty. Is it connected minutes. on the Wi-Fi instead? No, it's not. Well, I can. Yeah, we can. Yeah, just have to make sure. Yeah. Just let's take the wire less off. Where is the uh, open network preference? Yeah. Where's the network? Key? Oh, yeah. over here. It's on it. Okay. Just connected. Cool. Uh, so let's do this. Let's stop this madness. And let's remove this again. Just to be sure. Let's restart it. Yeah, this is what happened last time. I ended up force quitting because I was <laughs> <laughs> just kind of. Yes. Web. Java. J Boss. Come on. Clips. Isn't it running? Close Where is the um, say it, it will close when I will finish importing the project. <laughs> so I have me. Yeah. Yeah. Come, on. <laughs> come on, I don't want you alive. Now it's stuck. Die, 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 die. Updating the <laughs> project. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
Oh, sure. This is easy. Just quick fix. And yeah, ta da! <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> All right, so All right. now disconnect. Let's see if I can go do something. <laughs> Just have a seat over here. There's a cable. Place your Okay. There you go. It's connected from, from Wi Fi. Just make yeah. sure. Probably you, you, sh you should have to just close JVDS and open again, right? No, I have no idea. Should I? Just cancel it. It's connected. Uh, uh, yeah, you can close, it's connect from the Wi-Fi, open it again. Did it connect from Wi-Fi? Yeah, no, uh, just it's wired. It's wired right now. Yeah, Should it disconnect? Yeah, yeah. so just, just, just in case. Just to force using uh -huh. the cable. <laughs> wow, I can hear your fan <laughs> working. <laughs> Forge is bundled already with the uh, uh, the, 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 the Forge you 3. Yeah, you don't yeah. have you don't have to install you might see here the Forge what console what? Just close it. Mm -hmm. And uh control four. Then yeah. do forge starting. It mm -hmm. should present the forge console after that, hopefully. Are you sure you're running on JDK 8? Oh, yep. Probably so, yeah. Otherwise, yep. yeah. There it is. Uh, okay, go to the window. Uh, show view. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the other. And the Forge console. Yeah, the, uh, this one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there it is. Perfect. No. We don't need to wait for these two. Is it only doing something? Ah, uh, no. It's doing nothing at the moment. Mm -hmm. I think I'm set. Probably uh, try to create a project before anything else. Uh, Type project dash new. Uh, you have to click over here. Yep. Sorry. Project. But you can use autocomplete. Something is. It's working. It needs to work. I can see it by your ATD, ADD drive. Yeah. Uh, is in this taking much longer. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Excuse me. Mm He's -hmm. building things. Ah, uh, probably it's downloading the the dependencies. Yeah, yeah but it shouldn't block Forge. Try to stop it and start it again. Can you open the details, please? Mm. 
Okay, we can now forge this one in Roman. Yeah. Try to type now. Tab. Yeah. yeah. So project, project new. new. Slash. Uh, dash dash. Name it. Uh, name it. Name it. You can uh, out complete. To see the yeah. Uh -huh. Uh, CD bookstore and yeah and another option is called stack dash dash stack uh, Java E7 yeah. you can use autocomplete if you want mm -hmm. it's on, on uppercase uh -huh. so it was in uh, yeah seven seven yeah you just press enter No, no, no. we just help you. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff to download. I hope everyone can hear the plug to the network. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> at least it, it works. Yeah, so yeah. You can. If the internet doesn't come to you, you come to the yeah. internet. <laughs> if you have time, yeah, I would suggest you to do like a Docker lab to create virtual machines with uh, Nexus. With Nexus, okay. Oh, yeah. That's great. But that would take more bandwidth that we don't have. Uh, good. No, you 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 preload. Yeah, you're good. Yep. You're set. You should see a CD bookstore over here. Yeah. Oh, I'll show you what it is. It's a pre preloaded Docker. It's a preloaded Nexus with everything I've done on this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Installed. Thank you. All right. You're Thank welcome. You. So this, this is something that is new from the Forge 3 compared to the Forge 2. If you use it to Forge 2, you will notice that uh, there is one field missing in the screen. That is the JP version. Uh, when we created a project, the CD Bookstore, we explic explicitly told that uh, we wanted to, be, to use the Java 7 stack. That is enough for Forge to understand that uh, Whenever you set up a project like a, a technology like JPA or Servlet or um, EGB, you don't need to specify the version anymore. So that's why you don't see the JPA version in here. If you chose, if you choose no stack, then the JPA version will be present because Forge has no way to know which J Java you version are you working on. How are you doing the version alignment? For example, a version of Hibernate in uh, Lightfly 10 will be different from Lightfly 10.01 or whatever? Um, actually, this is handled by the... We have some extension points in the, in the, JP, in the JPA uh, um, plugin with, with, uh, with the specific detection for the container and the providers, like uh, let's see here. whenever I, I 
suppose that if I would like to use some Hibernate specific features, I have to uh, add yeah. a dependency in sure. Hibernate, so I don't need exactly. a version, mm -hmm. which is to depend on the, on the server which I'm going to deploy. Right. So how will you find out? Um, right now, um, you don't have, the only information that Forge uh, records it's is on the persistence XML. Um, you don't, you can't, um, you can't figure out what, what is the, con the container that is being targeted to just by looking at the persistence XML. XML. So, uh, Right now we don't have, we don't store, Forge has no way of knowing what is the, 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 the container that you're willing to use at the moment, unless we develop an add-on for this. So am I able to specify the bomb which I want to use, or I Forge way, call it, or do I have to do it manually? Uh, which one are you talking about? Uh, if I would like to use bomb, those materials, which mm -hmm. will tell me the versions of dependencies, Okay. So I have to manually enter it into my form and... If you want to depend on forged dependencies, or what? No, on... On a, on a specific container? No, yeah, exactly. Like a wildfly bomb or something yeah, like that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's not... Uh, uh, that's, that's usually not what you, what you do in a Java project. I don't think bomb is the solution in here. Maybe because the bomb manages the version, and so in this case he didn't need to specify the the version of uh, Hibernate that depends. He just mentions the group ID and the artifact ID, and the bomb will resolve the proper version. All right, I see, I understand. All right. Yeah, that 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 could be a, a nice en enhancement. But uh, anyway, we, sh we need to store that somewhere. I don't think storing inside the project would be... You'll be the solution. Yeah, maybe, I don't know. We need to think a bit about it. The fact is that Forge is not intrusive. Like, uh, your project doesn't have anything bound to Forge. You can read the project. So we try to keep that uh, as non-intrusive as possible. But... Uh, that means that the the, the, uh, the Forge project does not use any bomb at this moment, yeah. right? Yeah, so well, the, yeah, exactly. So, so th this project is more Java compliant, Yeah. so it can be deployed on an application server. Correct. That's why it does not use a specific, specific bomb. Specific, correct. Yeah, exactly. But if, but if you, you uh, madly... Yeah, you, yeah. You, can, you can extend from... We have extension points that will allow you to do that. And even if you add it manually to the to the POM XML, uh, Forge won't break because of that. Yeah, exactly. So, George, this is what I was proposing. Uh, oh, the Nexus. Yeah, it's a pre prefilled Nexus. Mm, okay. uh, you can. Tem aqui o, o coisa e eu leio o data volume. Eu com o cabo ligado para baixar os... É. Você vê que aqui, nesse, aqui que eu tenho nesse, aqui no instrutor, eu tenho um, um, git, um servidor git, um uh -huh. HTTP server, um Nexus. Uh, legal. Esse que esse aqui é só por causa do, do, do git. Uh -huh. Uma interface gráfica para ele. E o registro do Docker. Uh -huh. Cada um rodando uma porta. Uh -huh. é, só dou um Docker Compose. Ah, uhum. aqui ele já ah, legal. porra tudo. Vou fazer é. isso no próximo. É. Só que daí é. o problema é o IU, né? É, eu, eu já tive problema de não aguentar. Por exemplo... Se eu colocar um... no Open Shift, não vai ter espaço suficiente. Hum. Colocar no servidor remoto, alguma coisa. É, eu sei que realmente não aguenta.
about the, the, the whole generation stuff is uh, backed by uh, a library called Meta Widget. This library is what uh, reads the, the entities and generates the, the, the JSF pages. Um, but right now, if you want to customize this output, you have to extend, you have to implement your own scaffold provider. I think that would be reasonable. I think it would be easy. If it's something simple like uh, adding a description, we could add in the core and go mm -hmm. with the next. Yeah, yeah but the, the, no, the, the situation I'm thinking about is mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. okay. And you, uh, you have a lot of changes. And mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah, so that, that would be the best uh, solution. Mm -hmm. Create your own scaffold provider and then you. Uh, you can tell Forge to generate the artifacts that you want, the pages that you want, and the layout that you want, yeah. using a free marker style template. And what about uh, some programmatic changes in the HTMLs? So that uh, is there any way how to deal with those? You know, you know, we want to add some I don't know class style or something like that to.
especially when I have to, to write add-ons for using different uh, templates and, mm -hmm. and uh, for deploying it on Xiaomi and so on. And maybe I'm not the right user, but I do prototyping a lot and I do Java for that. And very often use uh, J2E stack. So maybe and if I want to do just one one time project, I will use for that uh, an ID uh, wizard that can do that, and that all of current IDs has, uh, have uh, have um, you know wildfly integration, Jables integration, uh, Jables integration. And so on. So, what um, it is hard to find an advantage of Jables for Chrome. Mm -hmm. yeah. George, what's well, the uh, and the beach? How can this be chali? comes when you automate your your needs like uh, uh, you have a specific need that forge doesn't uh, suit you you can always write an add-on for it you can use the forge APIs we have a roster with a library for parsing Java classes that can understand the class structure <coughs> and allows you to I don't know add annotations to a method or create new methods using a simple and fluent API. So Forge provides all these libraries. All you have all the tools needed to do your your work. You just need to figure out what you want to do. This is what we offer right now. And of course Forge provides several extension points that uh, what what was the main motivation the top of the uh, the motivation by started to develop Jables Forge. Uh, developer productivity and fun. Yeah. In fact, it all started with uh, yeah. Forge Sim, right? With Sim. Yeah, uh, yeah. Sim. Have you heard of Jigo yeah. Sim? Yeah. Uh, uh, I have ne never used it. I, I just n know a few yeah. information. Jigo Sim is a framework that allows you to create a, a GSF 1.2 application. Yeah. Yeah. And at the time, there was a generator called SimGen that uh, mm -hmm. it would pick mm -hmm. the, the entities and generate, scaffold the, the, the necessary pages to run the, 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 yeah, the, the scene application. So then it came SIM 3 and then uh, the whole uh, idea of, uh, instead of being bound to a specific framework, Forge showed up and uh, provided a way to create Java Pure Java E6 apps. So we try we try to follow this. We, we want to make the, the application that is uh, developed uh, <coughs> with Forge is totally Java E compliant, and no there are no specific libraries bound to it. That's why we generate so so many codes with uh, so many beans and without uh, the layers and all the stuff. Of course, there are some good practice that we could have been following, like uh, having an abstract base class for all the, the common methods and all stuff, but... Uh, yeah. One thing that I like from Forge is, suppose that you want to start uh, an, uh, an application using JPA and Angular in the front end and using ADB. Sometimes you need to have a uh, Maven archetype for that. But so suppose that you want, you want JPA with uh, JSF, another archetype. JPA with uh, a Kilian test and whatever, another archetype. With Forge, you can 
customize the creation of a project without depending on the archetype because you, you just go adding and, and add another feature and add another feature and add another feature and you have the whole project without depending on a specific archetype that provides everything that you need. So that's the thing that I really like. And that was the idea that Aunt George said started with C because C needed uh, use JPA, uh, could use or not AGB, use it JSF, use it uh, rich faces. So C then created everything for you to start with a SIM project. And then uh, uh, when C3 uh, came, people start to use Forge on that time to set up for uh, a SIM project. Then, but then the developers realized that instead of generating projects only for C, it could be used to generate all kinds of Java projects with, with Forge 1. Then, thank you. Thank you. And then people realized that with Forge 2, that it doesn't need to be just on console. It could be plugged to NetBeans, it could be plugged in as an extension for uh, IntelliJ for Eclipse. The main, the main um, feature that uh, Forge provides is the independence of IDEs. If you write a command for using Forge, Forge APIs, uh, you can make sure that it will run in Eclipse, IntelliJ, or NetBeans without changing a single yeah. line of code. Actually, we have uh, something, uh, we have a framework in our company that uh, uses specific uh, DSL. Mm -hmm. uh, and do something, does something uh, quite similar, like uh, this this is Forge. It takes this uh, DSL, generates... It's a code generator. It's, uh, yeah, it uses uh, standard Eclipse uh, AMF. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, we use Forge, you use that, that, that uh, and maybe that... Uh, can be uh, the situation because, but but we also generate from that JP uh, entities, JP entities, mm -hmm. as uh, we want to have all those uh, hash codes and mm -hmm. and serial uh, mm -hmm. IDs, and uh, we, I saw that there is a version, so that's okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, yeah, you, you know, deep clone met, 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 met method, and, and so on and so on. So this is yeah, this is why the word kick off, kick off uh, that start, that help developers mm -hmm. to to start rapidly. They and then they do a lot of manual work, of course, but sometimes they want to regenerate it again. And in this situation, we have to deal with uh, changes in, you know, because we realize that there is a bug in deep call method, whatever, and we want we have, I don't know, in the project, five, six hundred of entities who want to change it at once. Mm -hmm. Yeah, without, and, and keeping the old. Yeah, the old yeah, because, because there will have to, has to be someone who will think about it, who will do it, who will check that it is done on all, all those entities. So in such situation, we again use this generator. It uh, checks the original one, the new one, mm -hmm. make this, uh, and checks some, you know, our own check that it's... Uh, yeah, you could have a forge component. Hand, hand, hand change, yeah. yeah. And in such situation, it, it, it may match, match the changes or yeah. whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But synchronizing and dealing with conflicts. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. You have some libraries for that. Uh, yeah. We started the synchronization uh, framework. Uh, that would be a bit more. But yeah. Other options should be an annotation, um, for instance, a method not. Override or something like yeah. that. You, you could mark your, your part of the code that you want to keep and when you yeah. regenerate it again, to keep the method. Yeah, one, one thing that is, that is nice to mention is that uh, 
The 4J create provides some uh, facilities for example, if you want to know what are the entities in your code, what are the classes that has the that have the entity annotation, you can you have a method in Forge that returns that. So it's it's you can use the, the 4J API for that, for browsing the project and checking what are the technologies that are installing on it, the dependencies, if you want to install a new Maven dependency, Forge has the APIs to use a Fluent API and uh, just add the dependency to your own XML and whatever. Whatever you need to do with your project, change the, create new classes, uh, change your Fluent XML, you want to use Gradle, it understands the Gradle uh, view descriptor, anyway. But what you said that it's that it's agnostic from any IDE, so you write your add and then force everywhere. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. But I don't know if you have ever done exit string development. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've done some. I, it's pretty did hard. You, yeah, it's did you enjoy it? <laughs> uh, I've, been <laughs> doing, I've been doing that for some years and uh, it's yeah, it's horrible. It's horrible. Uh, Painful. And and with when I did my first add on Yeah, that's so that's what we're doing for the in future versions. Using it. Yes, so basically you can go online and say I want to create a new project and and Forge Online will create it for you. And we still have to do something. You can provide a Git repo. That's pretty nice because oh, that's what Fabricate repo does. And it's Fabricate does that. Oh, Fabricate does you that. can create a project and automatically goes to GitHub, publishes it on GitHub, and then you can deploy it on an open chip. Yeah, and pick up by Jenkins. Yeah, it's <laughs> wow, the whole gang. <laughs> is this yours? Mm, yes, mine is closed. Okay. Mm, I don't think sure so. Yeah. Oh, there's a video. I, I recorded that video. Oh. There's the. On the cable, yeah. Let me show you a video of uh, Forge as a service. Well, I'm going to wrap it up. Yeah. And I also like the REST, the REST endpoint generation. That is really oh, yeah, that's that really useful. Because that is typically boring code you have to type yourself. And no, you will generate all the time, just use the IDE for that. Okay. I don't know the IDE, but because of it, uh, yeah. On the big, on the big Yes, this, this is it. This is the web version of Jibos Forge. It's still a prototype, but uh, we're getting there. So you can type the project and choose the project type. And the, the next is a neighbor or not. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, 
This is running my machine, so all the commands that Forge has, it uh, can be can be shown. Let me choose the database and yeah. setting up JPA. So yeah, that's persistence generated. The cable? Cable. Sure. Sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Instead, install the whole swarm add-on. I think it'd be better. I'm in the middle of this. Command. I have to stop it here. Okay. Oh, you have to start again. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's the story with the starting every time? Like, is it's because Forge uh, Forge runs. Forge has its own runtime, so okay. every time you start Forge, Forge has to start Furnace and okay. the add-ons and all the stuff, all the plugins. Okay. So it, it takes a bit of time, that's why it has the starting. Okay, so you want me to do... Oh, the swarm. Uh, add-on. Install uh, uh, from Git uh, type uh, outcome. From Git. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, just, just oh, oh, that's a that's Mac OS from <laughs> 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 That works. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, just the URL changes a bit. Okay. What is that? Oh my goodness. That's really bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this earlier it was kind of doing this like type it out but now this is doing a flashy thing that's really enough. Psychedelic <laughs> stuff. Yeah, all right, so. Oh, okay, so. Hey. Good luck with that. Yo. Oh, Forge. Wildfly Swarm. Add on. Dot. Get. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Uh, if you want to learn, that's what I told people. If they would, when I scaffold the Angular app, I'm doing this one just because it's smaller. Yeah, much smaller. But don't be intimidated by the size. It will, I think it will download some pretty big stuff after it. Because it, uh, as it uses Wildfly, I think it will download some Wildfly artifacts and that yeah. could be pretty big. That's good. This is going way better than the last attempt. <laughs> Plugged in. Is over? No. 20 minutes? All right. Okay, so everybody's completed this lab. <laughs> 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 All right. At, at, at least I have a, a functional application deployed on Wildfly. That's enough. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Okay. I encourage you to try Forge and uh, try to write your own add-on plugins and uh, give us your feedback. That will be uh, of great value. And uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> We need, we need to, yeah. Do you want the Raspberry Pi? I, I, I went to USA this uh, summer, or the last summer, and they taught strange things to me, because my sister is here for a couple of years now, and they taught 
when you meet Czech guy, they are uh, really strange when the, when you ask their, them whether they want something, okay. they won't tell you, yes, I want it, even if they want it. <laughs> and they also offer you something. That's okay, we're not American, we're, we're from Brazil. <laughs> yeah, what, what, what they don't want to give you, but they still offer it to you. Sure. Do you want my lunch, whatever? Uh, all right. But I, yeah, that's my lunch, I don't want to give you my lunch. <laughs> As an American, I wouldn't know what yeah, to do yeah, with that. Really <laughs> You'll never take a lunch from an American. <laughs> Become red. I'm not red. Yeah. So if you are Maybe asking, it's the cold. yes, I won't. Okay. okay. Oh. Yeah. There you go. You won. <laughs> Good job. There you go. Congratulations. Okay, to the women. Yay! Yay! Yeah, that's oh, pretty should. cool. It's <laughs> really cool. Really you can cool. do a lot of different things with it. Do you like games? Yeah, which are with from time. With from time. All the old. I played with my son. I just met him to the TV. Yeah, and that's with from time. And you can play all the old console games. Atari, Mega Drive, yeah, and Super Nintendo. 30 years ago. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Go try to control a door in your house or something using it. Yeah, yeah I think you should have an <laughs> intelligent house. Yeah. So it's, it's done already. <laughs> I use this, uh, some PCL, P PLC for, for that. So it's as for, for the, you know, you want, don't want to come home to this evening and notify that your SD card in your uh, small PC has gone and you are, you are not able to, I don't know, which on the lights, for example. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't want to, to be in such a situation. You can run wildfire. No, you can run <laughs> wildfire. Yeah, you can do real thing. So, is it possible to run wildfire? Yeah, yeah. 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 So we're not joking. Really well. There is a blog post about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. It's because when you install, there's an SD card that you put in yes, yeah. Wi-Fi. In this SD card, you can install everything you want. You can run a Fedora, you can run a... Yeah, but, but still it's an ARM, a, a, a a, a yeah. so it shouldn't be so fast to, to run Java stack with for, for a while, wow. I think. What yeah, I can I, tell, I, I <laughs> what I can tell you is the fact that the person who managed to do it was my Cleo. So, oh, yeah. my fork. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a USB tool, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, has, it, has a, yeah. it has an HDMI output, so you can yeah. put it in the television. Full port on a smooth download. It's fantastic. It's very fun. Yeah. It's really, yeah, you, you really enjoy it. Or even for There's kids. There's no way to know how much you have to go. Like, yeah. you can it's buy just like some, doing a bunch of stuff, but there's no, like, sensors, you have 25 more things to get or anything like that. In fact, they... Arduino? They quench the yeah. files? It, no, yeah, no, it's a this. Yeah, all of them. That's yeah. just the stuff. It's really I know. I now I got you. So I don't know how many more Maven things it wants to pull. Yeah. For the central central okay. house system, but it has four H. I don't know uh, how you do that in the command uh, line though when you're uh, doing scrolling. A, to show it you, 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 you are a key. Okay. Yeah, just like a uh, young so terminal where you can see how many files. Factory yeah. system I mean, I guess maybe you could do something like you know, every once in a while it so does. So and you can update do, which files it's downloading. Uh, I guess everyone's file you could just insert in the middle of this your also, overall so you status. Can, you can do it, but that might be nice. I will not work next yeah. month. <laughs> yeah. oh, because in a so traditional one. terminal, it, it won't scroll. Power. It will just keep yeah. moving. But yeah. Yeah, yeah, unless it's oh, cool, yeah. so it's, yeah, you'd have to keep popping it in every... Yeah, so you can use just the phone. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, it does that every once in a while where yeah, it tells you what it's still working you on. Four, you so you just alongside that, that give an overall one. Yeah, you can see that on the tool. It's a keyboard, the mouse, and the Wi-Fi. I have the feeling that it's just missed these two files. 
date that's I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe you're right, but I think it's going to start something else when it's done with those two. <laughs> also, the, the, the temperature go was high. We got a message oh, on yeah. our phone. Plugged in too. It's yeah, yeah. Super yeah. Super yeah. Super yeah, it was supposed to be faster. Yeah. It was the first earthquake detector with Arduino automatically. Oops. And when it was Shake detected, it was is it worth sending? It's yeah. slow. And he was doing the demo oh. in oh, it's the world. Oh. It's about the world. Uh, <laughs> it was connected to my phone. And in the middle, May I was even backup the internet. I sip it every once in a while and insert a line saying where you are in the overall oh, things that you need to download. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea if these two are the last things or if it's going to kick off something else again. May even is backup in the, the, the internet. Don't go there. No, no, I. Yeah. Because I, I've been two, two days ago, I've been to Arduino session in SIT, okay. uh, uh, at uh, the State University here. Okay. And uh, that uh, measuring temperature in Hello World, Hello World in uh, cool. the Arduino world. So <laughs> everyone, everyone who started with it. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we're not even really close because the other one still has another thousand mm -hmm. to go. Alright, so you have the blue scarf? You won't say you will That's really true, that, 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 that situation. Okay. Because yeah. you, I, I met it all the time. Yeah. Oh. Rabbit. Someone, yeah, I, I get several, but I don't, don't go anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That they give to our new. Yeah, maybe I can give one. Thank you. But I don't. Oh yeah. But my my co-speaker yesterday was not happy about the scarf. Are exactly part of his enemy football club. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you, you too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you guys. Any of those? Yeah. Did you just want to share? 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 Did For the better of training, right? For the better yes, yes. of Okay, excellent. Let me just clean the place for you. I work or should I lose? Uh, it, it should. Try okay. please. We, we haven't tried, but it should be working. I'm not sure. If not, it should be possible. Oh. I have PGA also, so but so if HMI works, I, I don't well, know. The thing is that we have to call the guy from the university to reconfigure the 
to the box, you know, so we can switch between VGA and HDMI. Not necessarily, I think I will try this one then. Yeah, this one. Just to decide. You can call it anyway. Uh, will you need the uh, USB drives? Um, there are some files. Yes, I, there are some files. Um, but uh, yesterday, because it was late, uh, I prepared something else. I have mm -hmm. also some sticks which will I will pass okay. around. Okay. So. so if you need them, you so still those files them? are actually uh, outdated, right? On our uh, drives. Not really. I have some additional files for uh -huh. some practicing and, and stuff. And so you, you can replicate it if you want. In the meanwhile, yes. at least few of them. Yeah, them. yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Good. May I just ask you for your name so I will pronounce it correctly? Yeah, I know, I know the name. It's Stefan Dürr. Stefan Dürr. Yeah. Okay, I will try my best. Okay, no problem.